hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you how my garden is doing in the first week of july and what plants are blooming in my garden so this is our backyard garden we moved into this house towards the end of january and this garden was all lawn with mature shrubs and trees which are really good for providing privacy because there is road next to our house and providing a good backdrop but i wanted to have more flowers and vegetables in my garden so we did some changes uh, we put this arches in these are two arches and these are from forest garden really beautiful quality arches and we put them two of them in here and i want to grow climbing plants on them so you can see i have got grapevines growing on them this one is in its second year and then one is in third year so you can see the difference in their growth and earlier i had them in containers so um, normally these kind of plants do take a few years to establish their root system and then they start growing vigorously here are my containers with junipers in the middle as a centerpiece which i want to train as um, top years and i have got creeping frogs in them which are done blooming and lobelias which are growing nicely and filling up the base of the container on the first arch i have got climbing rose really beautiful rose the first rose flower is drawn and more birds are coming up and on this side i have got my jasmine plant this is really beautiful evergreen plant and the idea is i have some evergreen structure on these arches for year-round interest and a climbing rose for summer interest where there's beautiful blooms and of course i would like to grow fruit and vegetables in my garden too so i do want to have some uh, grapes growing in my garden so on each side i have got flowering plants growing anemones are about to be done few flowers are there which are looking really beautiful these are red and white and hopefully they will naturalize themselves here and come back every year and fill this border beautifully i planted some begonias in here red pink and white petunias looking absolutely beautiful filling up really well here's a close-up you can see how beautiful these are really bright colors a marigold i like these kind of marigolds big beautiful flowers and some coleus which I took the cuttings from my main coleus plant, royalty coleus, overwintered them in my house and planted them here and they are growing really beautifully. So this side of the garden does not get much sun. So you can see the plants are doing well here. Plants are doing really well and growing happily. Here are my dentist plants, which I collected the seeds myself and sowed them. And you can see they are starting to bloom now we have a circular lawn in the middle which is not very big but provides a good rest to the eyes and brings the garden together and you can see i have planted small blocks plants around the edge of the circle so the plan is that they will grow and make a lower hedge or at least i can Trade them into topiaries. Some zinnia plants, which I started from seed. This one is looking happy, but these two are struggling a little bit. These are salvia plants, hardy salvia plants, just starting to grow. So I don't know how they will look when they grow. The hosta plants are starting to send their flower stalks now looking beautiful just planted them this year so they are small plants you can see the leaves are absolutely beautiful and uh, this side of the garden is kind of shady corner so this does not get much sun so i planted hostas hydrangea this hydrangea hasn't got any flower buds yet but it has put on some growth since i planted it clematis at the back which I want to train up the fence. 
my apple tree which is still young plant and uh, this is chrysanthemum which i started from seed it just started to bloom and you can see there is a fly on it and there are so many more birds coming along although i think i need to stake it because it's quite windy these days and there is my hookah patch you can see all the hookah plants growing really beautifully they are sending their flower stalks few weeds in there which i need to get in there and do some weeding more dinosaur plants here another host of plant which is different from that one it is more bluish green and same variegated pattern it is sending its flower stalk as well this is bleeding hard i got it on reduced price it was struggling so i put it here and hopefully it will recover and grow it blooms in spring so not much to expect until next spring sanity plant which is still going nice and strong dahlias uh, some of them i started from seed and some i planted the combs in here and they are coming up nicely sunflowers which i started from seed i think they are nearly done maybe i do deadheading and they will grow more these are pop sunflowers some stock plants here which i started from seed as well some of them are done already lavenders are growing nicely now looking absolutely beautiful and cheerful with their bright purple colors i like to grow lavenders in my plants they are really fuss free drought tolerant plants and here is the verbena looking really beautiful it has an ethereal quality to it whether it's long spikes and small clusters of flowers it looks beautiful and i think when it fills up this and there is that conifer it grows and if they intermingle i think it will look really beautiful there is my container which i absolutely love there is a kala lily in there which has been kind of overtaken by these petunias and pentians which are loving their life in here there is a coleus plant so i'm thinking if i move this kala lily because i can't really see it here but i love its beauty there is fuchsia plant still small plant i really love fuchsias and this is the hardy fuchsia which means it will come back every year so i want to it to grow and fill this space and there is hydrangea which hasn't got any flower birds yet this is also a beautiful perennial plant i can't really remember the name of it and this is rhizomum looking really beautiful it has filled up really well since i planted it has doubled in size and looking really good and this is delphinium another beautiful plant with its beautiful indigo flower spikes love it and some vegetable plants like sweet corn and pumpkins here and there another hydrangea plant lupins this is my plum tree which is still young and here are the mature shrubs and trees you can see this is red robin photonia there is lilac and there is esclonia all looking nice and big beautiful they are done flowering already they have good spring interest to them and this red robin photonia and esclonia are evergreen and lilacs they have really good structure and they bloom in spring when they're beautiful fragrant flowers and we can cut them down to keep them in shape but i think this is doing really well here a melancia tree looking beautiful and it has got lots of berries on it which are good food source for the birds my apple trees they have got few apples this year and hopefully we will have a harvest what is that that's a rotten apple looks like it's diseased i'll throw it in the bin and the others are looking fine and this one has got the disease too i think i need to remove some of the diseased ones so they do not affect the others this rose bush was planted by the previous owners 
it has really beautiful peachy pink flowers it's almost done these flowers are more aged you can see the peach in the center and this is just a new fresh flower looking really beautiful On this side of the arch, I have got ranunculus plants which are still growing nice and strong, putting on more and more flowers. I have cut some flowers for a flower arrangement and they're still growing nice and strong. Yeah, some begonia plants in there. And this is a different one, which I think is starting to send its flower buds. Some self sown pansies in there. And this is the Royalty Collis plant which I was talking about, really beautiful, it's still growing nice and strong and it is filling up really well. And here are my raised beds, three raised beds I have got. This one has got strawberry plants in them. The next two have got variety of tomato plants, some cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes and celery tomatoes. Some are determinate and indeterminate. Few chili plants in the containers and i have got more chili plants and our chains in my front yard because it gets more sun than the backyard so this side of the garden gets sun where i have got my raised beds the other like that corner is the most shady corner and this side gets a little bit of sun in the morning or in the afternoon so it's going well so far and i can keep improving it as the time goes by as i get to know the garden more and more here in this container i have planted all my geranium plants plurigoniums and this nasturtium is self sown and this one also as well so they are just starting to put on flowers look will look really beautiful once all in flower these hanging baskets i planted recently with some begonia plants and geraniums and petunias and this ivy plant and they are growing nicely this one is a bit ahead this ivy plant is suffering a little bit will benefit from a little bit of tidying up but overall they look really beautiful Let's see here this is my beautiful maple tree previous owners planted it it's nice and big it is really beautiful canopy where there's dark burgundy foliage absolutely love this tree and in these containers i have got some berry bushes my raspberry loganberry bush it got few fruit on it these are blackberries kiwi hardy kiwi it has got some kiwi fruit on it this year and see there and there are more here let's see how many we will get garden peas they are pumping up now bean plants something eating on them and they are being blown away in the wind my cucumber plants looking good so far they have got a little cucumber on them as well and some other plants which i started from seed and mint plants in this container i have got these hardy mums which have got flower buds soon they will be flowering some other plants this is camellia plant which likes to be in shade and Colias and geraniums, ivies, few of my alien plants and some garden peas which here started so I planted them here. Some more bean plants. This is the dwarf bean, bush beans and this is the scarlet, red scarlet bean. Only one germinated so far. This is our front yard and basically it's a driveway and few flower borders i have got all these containers lined up here where i'm growing my flowering plants and some 
vegetables like aubergines and pepper plants these are doing really well here this is the sunniest part and you can see there are so many flowers on them and they're nice and big let's see how many aubergines we get this year but the beautiful thing is here you can see these containers absolutely beautiful and filled with these impetians and lobelias loving them here yeah. i planted these containers myself earlier in spring and they have filled up really well growing really beautifully this is uh, scabiosa plant which survived the winter luckily and growing happily so i will shift these plants in the backyard once they're done my beautiful hanging basket which is looking so beautiful i do need to take these pansies and and this out and replace them with some other plants here is a little flower border where i have got this bay tree which i recently pruned into kind of square shape and my cherry tree which i planted this year it will take some time the standard rose tree which is starting to form a bird and some other plants like obricia and campanula which are still young and peonies which will take some time to establish salvias are starting to send their flower spikes lavenders hebe and these are beautiful conifer trees i do need to trim them as well on the other side of the house you can see that container is absolutely beautiful with cosmos and some petunia plants and lobelias looking really really beautiful my phlox plants which are starting to flower now another beautiful container with hebe as a centerpiece and lobelias impetians ivy wine begonias and coleus looking good my beautiful pine tree which is looking enormous another beautiful hanging basket i do need to water it i think and this container is looking good too and it's my beautiful climbing rose which is in its first year it's, has got beautiful flowers on it some are done i want to train up here it is really fragrant here on this side i have got another climbing rose and this achillea plant is starting to flower now looking really beautiful filling up well sionatus plant so this one i also want to climb up here it's really beautiful Clematis plant and some heathers and creeping flocks. This is Padlia, which is starting to send its flower birds. More hebe here. Dogwood, which is really beautiful, nice and big. Of these plants I plotted this year, and they are still small. Plants will take some time to grow and fill up. And the ones that are nice and big were planted by previous owners already growing beautifully but overall i'm quite happy with how the plants are doing and coming along so much color and beauty in the garden there is now i'm going to harvest some of the plants from my garden my mint plants are ready to harvest and so my garlic plants so stay with me if you want to see my first harvest of the summer season.
so this is my garlic harvest for the 2023 season i planted them in autumn last year in grow bags and they are not very big garlic heads some of them are really good size and some of them are small there are two varieties in there i normally buy garlic from grocery store and plant them so these are not like sea garlic so i'm quite happy with whatever i have got and that's enough for me for a whole year i have got these garden pea plants which were started by my kids so i thought i would plant them in this container where i have got my aliens there were some self-sown fences which i have taken out so aliens are about to bloom and soon they will be gone so i can use this space to grow a few of these um, garden pea plants that's how you can manage your space and grow more in your available space whatever you have and basically garden peas they have shallow roots so they will be nice and happy here so i'm just putting them in the container and then i will uh, top them up with a little bit of fresh compost water them and that's my top tip for this week that if you want to maximize your garden space you need to uh, grow plants together so it's like succession planting or like companion planting so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye